Um, today, the activity that we're doing is a bridge from what we were talking about yesterday with informational text and how to read informational text and get information from informational text. Um, before we get into the activity, though, let's talk about the learning target for today. It says here, I can analyze charts and graphs in order to synthesize information about a topic. When we analyze, we actually do break down um, something into its smaller parts and we look at the smaller parts. Okay, so we're going to take charts and graphs, break them down into smaller parts, and then we're going to synthesize those. What's going to happen is that every person in your group is going to get a different colored sheet of paper. Okay, I have pink, blue, white, a yellow, and my favorite nude. And what each piece of paper color will do is that they will assign you your role. Okay, so if you get the blue sheet, what's going to happen is that when your group comes up with an answer, they're going to collect everybody's piece of paper and they're going to bring it up to me. And then I'm going to check and make sure that every person has it. I will then hand them back the paper. Um, and then the pink papers are the people who will come over and tally up the Yellow is the timekeeper. Yellow person gets to sit back and be the box. They're the ones who are going to go, come on guys, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. Let's stop talking about Justin Bieber and start talking about charts and graphs, okay? The people who have the nude are going to be taking the, the clues, which are in the form of sheets of paper, and what's going to happen is that they're going to return them. And the last color is the white sheets. And the white sheets are actually going to be very important because they're the ones who are actually going to collect the charts, or get the charts and, and bring them back to the table. Okay? So everybody except for the yellow are going to be involved in getting up and um, doing something in the front of the classroom. One last thing before we bust into groups I want to explain. When you get your sheet of paper, and I'll go through this with you once you have the sheet, what you're going to, going to do is you're going to create an answer uh, page on your colored sheet. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to fold it hot dog style. So it looks like a hot dog sign, right? Then you're going to fold it hamburger style and then hamburger style one more time so that you have a little cue. When you open it up, you're going to have eight spaces. We have eight clues. You're going to answer those on here. And you're going to number these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like reading a book. Here's the last thing that I want to say because as since we are a huge class and it's going to be chaos and four out of your five people are running amok. Only one person from your group can be up at a time. So right now, before we get started, you guys have one minute to come up with a team name. If you can't come up with one within one minute, I come up with one for you. Come on, go. Merch, get set, go. 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 Uh, one person in your group did not put down the answer. Right there. The white one has, says yellow. That's not the answer. One sixteen. Incorrect. What? Mr. Man. Correct. 
Okay, no. You're blue. So go back to your people group. What?